This video describes key features of Aviva Communication Drivers Pack 2023. MQTT Sparkplug Publisher The 2023 MQTT driver includes many enhancements. Broker connections now come as both integrated publish consume connections and the new publishing only connection type. All connections have gained the client certificate feature to support authentication with brokers such as Amazon Web Services and others that require this. The communication drivers pack was already a consumer of Sparkplug data, and new with 2023 is the ability to publish Sparkplug formatted data from Aviva application server to MQTT brokers. The publisher, as seen here, now includes the Sparkplug message format as an option to the plain JSON format. A group ID is mandatory to complete the full Sparkplug syntax. Currently, application server is the only supported source for the publisher, but more are to follow in coming releases. A quick look into the browser reveals that our data is published as expected. MQTT Publisher Import Export With growing adoption of the MQTT Publisher, the Communication Drivers Pack 2023 introduces import and export features for the publisher. This facilitates bulk configuration of thousands of items, as well as a simple means for disaster re recovery of the publisher configuration. The import format is based on a JSON schema to promote programmatic generation of import files. As a file is imported, it is verified for compliance with the required schema. Imported items are immediately provisioned and start publishing data to the broker. The 2023 version of the driver also includes a range of improvements to the consumer side of Sparkplug, including support for hierarchical metrics, and copying item references directly from an item browser to be used as IO references in a consuming application. OPC UA Reverse Connect OPC UA Reverse Connect is a facet of the OPC UA specification that outlines connectivity with servers that are protected by strict firewalls that prevent inbound connectivity to the control network. As the name suggests, Reverse Connect works by having a server connect to the client, which is reversed to the traditional procedure. Let's look at this OI Gateway instance, which is correctly configured but fails to connect with OPC UA server. Inspecting the server, we can see that the firewall prevents any inbound connections to the OPC UA server. To establish a reverse connection, we agree on an address on the client that the server can connect to and configure the server to do just that. Coming back to the client, we enable the reverse connection option that is new with the Communication Drivers Pack 2023 and enter the same client-side endpoint that we had specified on the server. A connection is successfully made from the server to the client and we can now sus subscribe to data through this connection the same way as usual just a little bit more secure given that the control network remains protected by the firewall and the server is in complete control over which client it connects to. Deprecation of device integration objects. With the 2023 release, application server resolves the namespace differences between legacy device integration objects and the OPC client. An OPC client can now replace the device integration object simply by assuming its name. The OPC client is fitted with a new default scan group like that of the legacy objects. Furthermore, each scan group has the hierarchy path property which is automatically combined with each reference item to provide a seamless match of the IO references of assets that originally targeted a hierarchy of device integration objects. With 2023, customers may migrate from legacy device integration objects to an OI server-based architecture without refactoring the IO references across the galaxy. Thank you for listening to this video describing the key features of Aviva Communication Drivers Pack 2023.